Hello, Taurus. Let's see what the um, messages are for you. These messages may or may not resonate. Please take with fit and leave the rest. Thank you guys for liking, commenting, and subscribing to my channel. Okay. Let's see what's going on for you. What you need to know right now at this time. Somebody could be reaching out to you, um, um, Taurus, Spirit Guides, Angels, and Ancestors. Allow me to deliver their messages here for my Tauruses. Any and all negative energy being sent to me, um, and or Taurus shall be returned to sender. There's communication coming towards a group of, um, a coven of Queen of Pentacles in reverse, a coven of energy that could have been doing some type of dark magic, okay. There's communication coming. Um, I was picking it up in Virgo reading that somebody had a hidden agenda here. We have the Queen of Swords. What someone says or somebody speaks towers, whatever somebody says, I feel like somebody has a tower or there's some sudden awakening. This Queen of Swords could be speaking some truth or somebody here is speaking to a Nine of Pentacles energy. Somebody mad at this Nine of Pentacles energy here. Are they directing something towards this Nine of Pentacles here? But I don't feel like this person is picking it up. Somebody's di directing some type of action, okay? But I feel like this could be behind the scenes with the moon card. Something here is not seen or it's an illusion or whoever this is that's directing something. They're not actually addressing the person here. They just keep talking in fucking circles here towards. All right, so let's see. They're not saying they're not putting a name on it. Okay, or they're not putting a name on a disrespect, or they're not putting a name on on the shit like, um, or whatever this is. This is someone that's speaking loud, but they're not saying anything, or they speaking loud, or talking to a person, and they're not paying them no fucking mind at all. <laughs> so maybe somebody could be speaking to you, or they're trying to call you out, and you like, I'm not, I don't, who are you? Okay, so maybe somebody could be mad at you when they call themselves trying to check you or something, um, towards, and you like, okay. Like, bitch, ain't nobody thinking about you. I don't know. Somebody could be mad at you for something. <laughs> that was what I got, though. From seeing, like, from... Yeah, that's what I got. All right, so let's see. What's what's Taurus? Yeah, somebody's trying to check you or they're trying to call you out for some reason. Don't know why. Anyway, <laughs> that's, that's the message that I have got. Let's see, Taurus. What's up with my babies? Let go. You could have let go of a situation. Maybe this is why. Or you, yeah, you could have let go of someone because your intuition told you that somebody was in the middle trying to sabotage a connection. This is why you let go of it. Or maybe you let go of the idea of even taking a risk with this person. Because I feel like you knew something about if you didn't use your intuition and you were going to, you was going to pay for it later. The red flags you ignore were now come back to bite you later or this is what someone was warned to let somebody go your intuition could have told you that somebody wanted to sabotage something for you or somebody could have been in the middle trying to sabotage you maybe somebody's trying to take your man or they're trying to take your person but this could have been challenging oh Taurus who is this who is trying to take your man oh my gosh this is what this person does so this is like an energy that I'm picking up that goes and, and try to t steal everybody else's like unions or divine counterparts and shit like that because either they, okay, so destiny swapping. So somebody trying to destiny swap with you, Taurus? Oh, hell no. Someone is in the middle trying to sabotage this. I cannot wait to grab some tarot. I, I really, really can't. Let's talk about it. Yes, they try to trap. Somebody tried to trap somebody with a love spell, honey. We have love spell and caution. Find out more information. A narcissist needs to need to find out more information before they even do this damn love spell. Somebody's really, really like desperate here. That's what I'm picking up. A desperate man or a woman. It doesn't matter. Man can be desperate as well. So somebody's desperate. They really want somebody that damn bad here. So I feel like you let go of something here just in time here to find patience or you let go of a Sagittarius or you decided to find balance, peace, and moderation here from letting go of this situation here. Oh, 
wig. Why does people messy like this? It's like, oh, by any means necessary, yes, I want to be a third party so that way I can energy siphon and, and steal some of your energy. Bitch, go on somewhere with your weird ass. Bitches are weird as hell. There will be a third party to steal energy. You can't steal nothing. Uh oh. There'll be a third party to steal energy. A real divine feminine would never. I'm not finna be no third party to nobody. You're not finna give my energy away to none of these hoes. Fuck is you talking about? Look, and have me spiritually depleted, physically de depleted, or have me sick as hell. Why you go live a wonderful ass life? The five of pentacles is coming out that somebody is sick. Just period. It is. What's let go? And this is possibly why you let go of this person. The four of wands. Make room for the new beginning on its way. For some of you, you're about to get a house. Or you're about to move. You're about to get married. Once you let go of a situation here, you're going to come into balance. Or you're going to reunite with someone here with the four of wands. All right. Something here about the community as well. You're going to be hearing some, something coming out about the community here. We have Aries energy. What's the four of wands? Yeah. I feel like somebody's rushing towards you. Could be a Gemini or an Aries. Somebody with Gemini Aries placements here. They could be rushing towards you. Rushing towards your home. Or maybe this person has something to say to you. Because you let go of them or something like that. What's this Nine of Swords? Yeah, something here about somebody coming back. What's this uh, Nine of Swords here? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node. What's, this, what's the message here? The Six of Wands. Either somebody's coming towards you on your platform, or they're expecting to have some type of victory with you. That's what I'm getting. I feel like somebody wants to be seen, heard. They want you to see them. They want you to hear them. This is like an energy like, man, no, listen to what I have to say, please. This could be like a lot of people. They possibly want you to hear what they have to say or something here about your stability, you being grounded, or maybe you could be um, getting married. Congratulations, Taurus. You could be getting married. Um, whoever this Knight of Swords is, this person's coming in very fast while you're the Four of Wands, Six of Wands. Leo energy here. I feel like um, maybe this person's coming towards you on your platform, like I was saying. Um, because they see that you're rising or you're getting some type of victory. They want to come out of the conflict with you because you let go of it. You're like, man, I'll just let go of that shit. It is what it is. But I feel like maybe uh, you let go of it because maybe this person was unwilling to learn a lesson here. Or maybe somebody has an open legal case. They're, they're getting investigated. You're like, man, it could be an emperor. Somebody has an open legal case. You're like, man, nah, whatever this case is, if this person is found guilty, the eight of pentacles is in reverse for them. They could have even thought about ruining your reputation. If this person is found guilty, Taurus, their reputation is ruined. Whatever high standards or, or skills they had, they can forget about it. The Eight of Pentacles is in reverse. They can forget about it. If a secret come out about some type of something here that is open, the world of reverse, that has not been closed, Somebody, their reputation is a wrap. Maybe this person's trying to come towards you, come clean and confess before they even, um, before you find out about it. Seven of Swords. Something here could be public records as well. So maybe you could find out about any open cases or what somebody has. Yeah, but I feel like your intuition is warning you, Empress. Give me the intuition. What's this intuition here for my um sources, my emphasis? The nine of pentacles, Virgo energy. You can have Virgo placements. Something here, you need to be unbothered or you need to be quiet about this. That's the nine of pentacles here. Your mouth is shut. You don't, you're not talking to nobody. All only thing that you talk to is something here is significant about Virgo season as well. Whatever this is, your intuition is telling you be quiet about this shit. Don't say nothing. Or something here, your intuition could be telling you about a Virgo. What's the nine of pentacles? What's the nine of pentacles? What's the nine of pentacles? I did see the three of cups in reverse. So this could be a lot, a group of people here that could have been gossiping about you, but you're unbothered. What's the nine of pentacles? Seven of wands. Yeah, okay. So Virgo, Leo, Leo, Virgo, cuss, the nine of wands, the ace of wands, ace of swords, and the will of fortune. Um, 
So I feel like you're protected or you're protecting yourself. This is why you're single. Because you do pay attention to your intuition. You're like, no, nah, this is the reason why I'm single. Because of shit like this. I don't want to be involved in whatever case that you have going on. So, yeah, the nine of pentacles. You could just be focusing on your bread, on your finances, being an entrepreneur or your independence here. And I feel like this could have been energies that could have been trying to attack you because you're single, you're independent. Or you could have been building something. And they want you to be down. So, that way you could, yeah, they had a hidden agenda. So, whatever this hidden agenda is... This person was trying to disconnect you from your intuition, but I feel like by you being by yourself, you know what's going on. Um, this could have been people that are trying to, to, to team up. I feel like you have Archangel Michael on your side that's protecting you. Um, people try to team up and attack you in a group. And I feel like you stay here, one bother as a nine of pentacles is the nine of pentacles is someone that does not i mean the nine of pentacles can resemble like pregnancy but i feel like you've been protecting yourself from being single literally it's like even though you're you're single and these people try to come up and take you you're, you're protected so something here about the red flags what's this what's the seven of or you have to look out for this virgo what's the nine of pentacles and the seven of wands the hangman yeah somebody's trying to literally Okay, this is like how they try to sacrifice people is they attack them. They gang up with a group of people here and they try to attack someone. But it's like the people that attack you could be going through delays right now. And you don't need to be nowhere near these motherfuckers. Stay single. That's possibly what your intuition could be telling you to stay single and just stay like, look, just look from afar. But the people that came up against you, they could be going through delays right now. But this is someone here that wanted to tie you up in a situation here so that way they can attack you too. What's the seven of wands hanging, man? Pisces energy, Leo energy. Look, the king of cups. What's this king of cups doing here? Could be a Pisces that's about to reach out to you for some reason. They've been waiting on you. Why, why is this? Um, or so this king of cups could be releasing some type of fear or this is a secret coming out about them what they've been scared of or maybe they're not feeling guilty because they got themselves unhooked from a situation but there's still delays for this person they could be reaching out to you what's the nine of swords could be a gemini cancer energy what's this um the three of wands yeah so i feel like the reason why somebody's reaching out to you because They can't move forward in life. Yeah. Either they can't move forward in life or they're still stuck in some type of delays here from attacking you and you're the nine of pentacles. So they're stuck in some delays. They need to gain a new perspective and sacrifice this shit. Stop trying to challenge you. Stop trying to attack you. Stop doing all of that. Okay. Stop trying to attack the feminine energy. But a king of cups could be not feeling guilty anymore. Or they're planning something. They can't plan it. Look, the three of cups. They could have been with these energies gossiping. Partying with these people. Possibly talking about you or gossiping about you. This is why you possibly stay the nine of pentacles. You're like, I don't want to hang around nobody that sit up here and gossip and talk shit about me. You can be with them fake bitches and y'all can have each other. Fuck you and them. Yeah, with someone in the middle is trying to sabotage this connection or whatever this is, the king of pentacles. Somebody's trying to get in the way of your connection. This could be a married man. The secret is coming out about this person. Whoever this is, the king of the king of pentacles is trying to sabotage something or somebody's trying to sabotage something from you and this king of pentacles. What's the king of pentacles here? With someone's trying to stop. Yeah, the tower. This person's trying to give you a tower. It could be a Taurus energy. It could be a Scorpio. It could be an Aries. What's the King of Pentacles here? We have the Star, the Ten of Wands. Somebody gives up, though. I feel like somebody feels like they, they just drop all the burdens and just find their faith or their purpose and they heal. It's like somebody wants a star to give up, too, as well. But they keep rejuvenating. They keep healing. 
somebody's like, well, I'm going to put all the work on you and I'm going to, and I'm going to release myself. This is like a motherfucker that has children. They don't even like take care of their children, but they want to step in. Somebody else is like, okay, so you can't be a fucking father. You don't want to be a father to your children. So now when I meet somebody else, now you want to try to sabotage it by causing me a tower because somebody else wants to step in and want to take care of these kids or they want to take care of me or help me or whatever this is. What's the king of pentacles here? For some of you, this could be another Taurus here that could um, be coming towards you. Or they could have lost their job. The ace, eight of pentacles. I feel like you need to be quiet about this new beginning here, Taurus. What's the king of pentacles? Yeah, they're trying to come back to you. Pisces energy. What do they want? This person's not committal. They're indecisive here. They can't make a decision here. The Queen of Cups, or they had to go back to this Queen of Cups for some reason, or somebody could coming back, make it seem like they're like, Oh, do you still love me? Do you still have passion for me? Can I still get that nurturing, healing energy from you here, Taurus? Yeah, no. What's the Eight of Cups and the Queen of Cups? Or maybe you can, I don't care. Oh, okay, somebody's coming clean. What's the Seven of Swords? The Queen of Swords. So a queen of swords could be coming clean. I feel like there's people here. That, okay, so either the king of pentacles could be having some type of awakening. All right. And there's someone here that's coming clean. Now, it could be a queen of swords and a queen of cups that's in the middle trying to sabotage it, trying to get this king of pentacles to come back toward them. This could be for money reasons, for finances. They're like, no, nah, I want that king of pentacles. A king of pentacles could be having some type of awakening right now or a tower moment here um, after they went back to a situation. Yeah, the hybrid thing in reverse. Mm -mm. What's the seven of swords? So a queen of swords could be pissed. This could be an Aquarius. Yeah, they could be coming clean about this hidden agenda. The high, the high priestess in reverse. They could be coming clean about this hidden agenda. Or they're using their discernment. Or there's a queen of swords that's standing their ground and using their discernment against these energies that could have been trying to do something malicious and harmful towards them. This could be a karmic tarot reader. This is a dark witch. That's trying to like literally do spell work to sabotage someone. So that way they can get a king of pentacles. What type of shit? So there's a Taurus having a tower moment. They're, they're going through some sudden change. Because they didn't walk away from a situation. They were supposed to walk away from something, but they didn't. They ended up going back. And now this queen of cups could be coming clean to the queen of swords. About the dark magic that they did. And I feel like this queen of swords, whoever this is, this air sign is pissed. Because they tell they calling this person out like you're ignorant, like like I don't know. Something here about something going on with the three of pentacles, it wasn't working anyway. I don't know, man. Something just wasn't working here. What's the high priestess in it? Look, the hermit. The page of cups, the temperance, the three of pentacles, the six of pentacles. <sighs> The truth is that somebody is still in love with someone else. Whatever this deception is, the secret, somebody was caught in the act. Being a liar, being conniving. Why is the Queen of Swords here with the High Priestess in reverse? Queen of Swords with the High Priestess in reverse. Yep, they're confused. So this was some type of illusion or fantasy that someone wasn't going to... What's the Seven of Cups? The Queen of Swords could be speaking something that's confusing as hell. Three of Swords. And I feel like... Whatever this person says... It's, it's just a whole bunch of bull crap. Like... The, the this whatever they say it's a whole bunch of bull crap maybe they have a lot of choices or options maybe this is how they're disconnected from their intuition because they have a lot of options in love or something like that but with the seven of cups here that talks about a lie this person speak nothing but lies and gibberish they could be saying that you are a high priestess in reverse or you are a dark witch or you be doing spell work and but they're the ones that sneaky 
they're the ones that's a liar. They're the ones that could be trying to like do something like deceitful, dishonest, or they could be the one that's trickster. A trickster with their words. They confuse people here all the time. Yeah, but then they try to avoid conflict at all costs. So this is like, I'm picking up. This is a pussy ass hoe that talk all that shit. But when you come to her and you, you, you hit her up directly, like, nah, they're going to avoid conflict with you at all costs. This is that type of person. They're going to confuse you. They're going to dance around the situation. But then when you come and you check them about that shit, they, they're going to, they're going to, oh, no, nah, I, I, I was ignorant to that. I didn't know. Yeah, that's what this is. Yeah, just whatever. whatever. Like, once you t check them about it, they're going to try to confuse you and do all this weird shit. They think they're very clever and slick. Yeah, no. Anyway, find out more information. Don't overwork yourself. All right. I wouldn't even stress it. Just keep being the nine of pentacles. Yeah, the five of cups. Because I feel like somebody here is ashamed or they regret doing something or they feel pe pessimistic here. I feel like you're still happy or somebody's being seen as a low life that they are, a loser that they are, or they're being disappointed or they're disappointed. Because either you're still happy. This is like your happiness is somebody else's grief. Or somebody feels um, abandoned here. What's the sun card? We have Leo. I feel like something here is being seen. We have the Empress in reverse. So this could be a distorted, mem a distorted feminine with Leo and Scorpio placements. Okay. Well, something here about what's why is the Empress in reverse? This, this is your energy, Taurus. The Six of Cups in reverse. I feel like whatever this is, I don't know. This is my whole deck in reverse, child. Mm -mm. Maybe you, somebody is being seen as very like uh, dependent, not abundant, okay, or not feminine. This could be someone here going through like fertility issues or this could be some type of unwanted pregnancy here that is being seen. So say like if you're not in distorted feminine energy or this could be a couple here because we got the emperor in reverse, the ace of pentacles. So this could be a distorted feminine, and distorted masculine taking an L. Okay, because they would want to live in a past or they being seen for the, how distorted that they are. Yeah. So something here about this per shining a light on this Empress in reverse, who is going through a creative block, creative expression here. They're not abundant. They're not nurturing. Somebody could be like a toxic mother figure, or they could be a cheater, a liar. Yeah, the lovers in reverse. They're not even in love. This could be two distorted feminines. I mean, this could be a distorted feminine, distorted masculine that's not even in love with each other. They just stuck in the past, or they just have a role to the view of the past. So it's like, well, we're going to appear to everybody else like we're happy and we're happy-go-lucky. Okay, but maybe they did something unforgiving and now they're regretting this shit. They possibly did something unforgiving to you and now they're regretting this shit. What's the empress? This could be a toxic mother figure. Somebody's toxic mother. Look at the nine of pentacles here. I feel like this is you right here. You're the nine of pentacles in the upright. Having to pay attention to your intuition. Or this could be somebody here that's in the nine of pentacles in reverse. It don't matter. Somebody here's going through some type of setbacks here. Because they live above their means. Or this is a false success here that this person has. Or... They could be, they could have did some type of scam, scheming, um, shit like that. Very codependent type of energy. What's the nine of pentacles? Yeah, so they could have been trying to shade you or, yeah, the seven of swords. What's the nine of pentacles here? Somebody here's a, they marrying for money or they, yeah, a king of wands in reverse. Look at this shit. You need to find out information for all these energies here. I feel like you already seen it. The sun is here. You already see who the, these individuals, true colors. You already know what's up. A king of wands, a warlock here that's overly opinionated, very stubborn, all in their ego, impulsive, wanted to cause you, make you have setbacks here. Or somebody wants you to depend on them and you're not. You're just not depending on this person. Yeah, the Ten of Swords. So what? They could betray you or try to curse you with the Seven of Swords, Ten of Swords. Yeah, what's this love spell? I'm not going to be here that long. What's the love spell? You've been bewitched. Or somebody tried to put a spell on your work. The Eight of Pentacles. Or they, they wanted this King of Pentacles to come and work together with them or give all their money to them. Somebody did a love spell for a King of Pentacles to give all their money to them. Release everything. 
-mm. We have a tower. Because they're fearing some type of change. Especially when it had to do with these legal is issues with the Page of Swords. This is someone here that could be doing love spells to keep somebody stuck with them. So that way they can go through these legal issues together because they did some dumb shit. What's this Knight of Cups here? So I feel like they're trying to come towards someone with their love offer. They're trying to come towards you with their love offer, but you're ignoring them. Or maybe you have a hard decision to make between this person. You could be at a stalemate, at a crossroads, like wondering if you should choose them. But this is a love spell coming towards you. Somebody is going to get ignored or they feel it ignored by you. Or this could be an angry mob of people. Or the reason why this person is doing a love spell coming to you because they cloud hungry. What's the Knight of Cups? Yeah, the two of wands. I feel like you're taking the opposite. You're going in the opposite direction. Whoever this is that does a love spell on you, you're going to choose another route. The two of wands is here. And what route you choose this is a good decision. We have the queen of pentacles. Somebody here, like I said, somebody could be using their intuition with this queen of pentacles in reverse. Maybe this could be you. All right, what's the outcome? Something here is over, literally. There's something changing. There's an ending here happening. Or there's somebody here. Somebody is about to end. It's about to be over for someone. Ten of swords. And they're guilty. They're worried. They're up at night. They can't sleep due to a lie that the ace of swords about all this confusion that they done caused. All this confusion and chaos they caused. Now they're scared that something is coming back to them. What's next? With the death endings. Okay. Yeah, the page of swords. Look. It's like... This could be bad news. Maybe that's the bad news for someone that they could be passing away. My condolences. Or that somebody has passed away. Death in the page of swords. This could be a child that passed away. Wow, we have the page of wands and a page of swords, a fire sign child or an air sign child. <laughs> Damn, we have the page of pentacles. Somebody here, okay, so I'm picking up somebody here is getting bad news in earthly matters because they did divination. So something here is ending. Not only do they have legal issues, it could have been somebody here that passed away. Also, it could have been um mm -hmm, man. Somebody was very greedy. The four of swords and restless too. Now somebody feels stuck or they could be getting ready to rejoin the world after this good news. So I feel like some, some I don't know, Taurus. This is kind of crazy. We have the death, the page of swords, the page of wands. So somebody's legal issues is good news to someone. This could be good news to you or this could be confirmation to you about this legal issues because maybe you knew something all along or you knew that somebody was toxic they were a devil or they wanted to put you in the middle of this shit here by being um it's like somebody's obsessed with we have the devil and the page of cups in reverse yeah somebody could have had some type of kid in a cult or some shit like that with the page of cups in reverse or they could have been doing devilish shit to this to this kid somebody could have been sexually oh god um sa the child as well and they could be scared that this is coming out i don't know Taurus. um yeah that was your reading like comment subscribe turn on notification bell oh let me see let me get one more why is the death page of swords here for my sources something here when it has to do with money there's something changing about the way that someone makes money there's something changing about an entitlement a settlement here all right Somebody tried to sacrifice their soul made here. We have a cage. Yeah, somebody's stuck. Feelings of being trapped. Somebody sacrificed their soul made union here. And they feel good about it. They feel good about being trapped. They feel good about being in a prison. Being in... I don't know why this is. I feel like somebody is happy while somebody else is feeling like they're in a prison. All right, what else? Give me more of the outcome here. Yeah, frozen. Somebody's account is frozen here. That's what I said in Aquarius reading. But, you know, either somebody's accounts got frozen. Okay, whoever this is and their pride and ego, they're going through a loss. What's the messages here? What's cage? Feelings are trapped in a prison limitation. So maybe somebody's trying to trap you and they're desperate to get out. So this is why energy is acting out. They'll be more losing control of themselves. 
because they they feel trapped. And I feel like somebody feels good about themselves. Yes, I got your ass trapped or whatever this is. Somebody's happy about somebody else's misfortune or bad situation. This is somebody here that could be preying on your downfall and you could be sleeping with this person or you live with this person. All because they tried to cheat their soulmate by sacrificing this person and stealing something. Now they're going through a loss. Yeah. A letter, hex, triumph. Mm. I guess love wins, right? Somebody is sick. Whoever this is, this could be a distorted feminine and a distorted masculine that's both sick and they're both crying because it was in their pride and ego. Yeah, so somebody either sacrificed their soulmate journey or their soulmate connection here to get sick. Okay, or well now there's some legal issues here going on. So I'm going to leave it there. Like, comment, subscribe. Talk to y'all soon. Bye.